Since calibrating multiple Kinect cameras to each other is a little bit hard, I figured I'd make a short little tutorial video that shows the basic, uh, shows a basic way how to do this, and also the the Vrui interactions and tools that uh, you have to use to do it. So the the first step is, <coughs> excuse me, the first step is that you make a calibration target like this one, which is just a checkerboard um, with where the the tiles have known sizes. Um, and since I have both my Kinect cameras at work right now. Uh, I can't actually show you a live video, so I just made this little mock-up, which is just a computer-generated checkerboard, but it doesn't really matter for the process, so just uh, just bear with me. Now, what you need to do is, once you show the camera the checkerboard, you have to then measure the position of the corners of the tiles, these guys here, um, in 3D space. And you can use a measurement tool for that, and there are multiple ways to do it, but I'll show you what I think is the is the easiest way. The first thing that you want to do is create a measurement tool, and particularly you want to create one that measures in the screen plane. In, in Vui, the screen plane is highlighted by these crosshairs when you use the, uh, the mouse to navigate. Just to, re uh, to recap, the left mouse button rotates the scene around the screen center. The middle mouse button pans in the screen plane. If you press the, the middle mouse button and the left mouse button together, you zoom in or out. And if you uh, the roll the scroll wheel, you also zoom in or out very quickly. And the same button combination you use to zoom in or out, if you hold down the shift key at the same time, you're dollying in or out instead, which means that you move the scenery in and out of the screen, as you can see here. If I rotate this a bit more, it should make a lot more sense. So now you notice how the crosshairs move through the object uh, in the depth direction. Now the trick is um, to measure in the screen plane, you don't create a measurement tool directly, but what you do is you first create a transformer that takes the mouse position, which is not in the screen plane but in the eye plane, and you transform it to the screen plane using a mouse to screen projector tool. So I just used Alt and the left mouse button to do this, but you could use any other button as well, it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to just let go here. So now the program asks you if you want to assign any more buttons, and you just press the initial button again to confirm. So in my case it would be Alt and uh, left mouse button. There we go. And now using the same button combination, that's important. Uh, so again, Alt and left mouse button. Now you put a measurement tool onto that. So that creates the measurement dialog. Um, you leave the measurement mode at position and you leave the coordinate mode at navigational. And now what happens is that the measurements you make are going to be in the screen plane. So you notice that if I move this measurement marker here right down to the intersection, then now as I rotate around, it stays uh, where it initially was meaning that, well, I actually measure in the screen plane. So now the easiest way to measure a whole bunch of points, especially if they are uh, part of a flat object and your calibration target should really be flat, is to just, uh, instead of going through one by one and bringing the intersection, the edge, into the screen plane like I'm doing right here, and then taking one point and moving the whole thing over here, again getting the intersection to the screen plane like this, you always want to use the crosshair as a guide and doing it this way. That's a lot of interaction. And there's an easier way, and that is just that you align the object with the screen plan first. The easiest way to do that is to just bring the center, or the approximate center of the object, exactly to the screen center, to the intersection of the crosshairs, like this. And then you just rotate until the object is more or less parallel to both the horizontal and the vertical line. So you can just do that, you notice as I'm uh, moving it around, you see how the lines snap in and out. So I'm just picking the ideal position where the lines are exactly going through the middle of the object. Now, if you look at an actual 3D uh, image taken by the Kinect, it's not going to be completely flat, there's going to be noise. So you just kind of average out the noise until the crosshair is more or less halfway hidden and halfway visible. This here is a pretty good approximation. So now you don't rotate anymore. You just pan around a little. And now you can get these measurement points very quickly by just clicking on the corners directly. And since your object is in the screen plane and your measurement tool also measures in the screen plane, you're automatically going to uh, measure 3D points that are more or less aligned with the object. So I'm just going to get these uh, six internal intersections here. And just when we get the last one, I'm just going to rotate it around a little bit to show you that it's really quite close. Uh, let me zoom in there a lot and show that, well, it wasn't it wasn't perfect, obviously, but the measurements you take don't have to be perfect. That's the reason why you take so many of them, so that any errors you make average out uh, in the long run, and the result is still going to be good. So this was pretty much it. Um, 
you just took a whole bunch of measurements which are going to be saved into a measurement file just as XYZ positions um, and now you have to create an idealized measurement file that that sort of contains what the grid is supposed to look like so for example in this case here I made my uh, the tile sizes are well let's measure what the tile size is I forgot what I put in there um, the tile size is exactly one measurement unit which let's assume it's one inch so then the idealized measurement file you make would have this point down here at position say 0 0 0 and this point here would be at 1 0 0 and this one would be 2 0 0 and here you have 0 1 0 1 1 0 2 1 0 0 2 0 1 2 0 2 2 0 0 3 0 uh, 1 3 0 and 2 3 0 you you get the idea so you put that into another file you have to of course be careful to get the points in the exact same order um, and then you just have to um, get rid of all the extra text in the measurement files you only want the pure numbers no parentheses no uh, no spaces but you want to you want to keep the commenter separating the numbers and you feed both of those files into that aligned points program and that will, uh, will open up a window where you can graphically evaluate the, the quality of your fit. Uh, you should see the two points. Uh, one set is going to be yellow, the other purple. You should be seeing them lining up very nicely. Sorry, one of them is green, the other purple. Uh, but the most important output from the program is the transformation it spits out at the end, which is going to be written in translate and then some vector times rotate and some vector and an angle times a scale factor. And that is the exact text you want to paste into the projector transform dash serial number file uh, which is going to be read by connect viewer to apply a transformation to each connect camera which will then put them uh, very well into the same space so if you do a good job with the calibration uh, you should get a very good alignment between the two cameras that's pretty much the trick there so let me just very quickly recap the steps in case it was a bit quick at the beginning um, to get rid of tools just click the mouse with that button uh, so in my case, alt left button on that red uh, uh, red box over here, which if you don't let go inside there, will give you a list of what tools are currently assigned to a certain to a certain button. But never mind that. So in the uh, in the setup that I have, the left mouse button rotates around the screen center, the middle mouse button pans in the screen plane, left and middle together zoom in or out. If you press left and middle together and then shift you dolly in or out, meaning you move the object in and out of the screen plane. That's the way how you can get an arbitrary point in 3D into the screen plane relatively quickly, like this one. And then the mouse wheel is just a shortcut for middle and left buttons. The mouse wheel by itself zooms, mouse wheel and shift dollies very quickly. Uh, to assign a measurement tool, you pick a button, let's say, let's use one right now just for kicks and giggles. So you press one, go to transformer, mouse screen projector, let go, press one again to confirm and then press 1 yet again and now you make a measurement tool and that's it so now you can just by pressing 1 you can you can place and drag measurement points in the screen plane and that's the whole story